Hey everyone, welcome to Depression to Expression. Scott St. Marie here. It feels like it's been a while. I've been taking, you know, I, I love the podcast, all right? if you, The link's in the description to check out the podcast on Spotify and iTunes, Depression to Expression podcast. It's funny, when you go through life, you figure out what you really don't like, which is just as powerful as figuring out what you do like. So if you're in school or, you know, um, thinking about a new career change, figure out, write a list of everything that you really don't like. That'll bring you closer to what you love. And what's been going on with YouTube and what I've been doing the last many, many years in mental health is I've really discovered that big ideas and mental health really take time to explain. So I can talk about this stuff for hours and hours. So if you like long form discussions with guests and just me on my own, check out the podcast, Depression to Expression podcast, and uh, you know, give a review if you find it useful. It's so much fun. I absolutely love it. But this is a short video to tell you something very simple, something that is is decaying the world as we know it, decaying our mental health. I look outside of the world, it's like fucking chaos, isn't it? It's crazy out there. But for it to be crazy out there, uncontrollable, uncontrollable out there as it seems, we can control what's in here. We can be at peace in here. We can actually be happy at this time. And I know it seems weird and a lot of you are like, Scott, that's a privileged outlook you have there to feel happy amongst all the chaos and destruction. You're damn right. I've been working at that for a very, very long time. It takes a lot of effort to feel at peace amongst all the fire and chaos. So I want to tell you something that was really, really terrible for my mental health, for your mental health, for everyone's mental health around the world. One word, guilt guilt, especially those who deal with a mental illness or mood disorder. You ever felt depressed or anxious and you feel guilty for feeling an emotion? For feeling these things? Maybe you felt jealous, maybe you felt resentful, maybe you felt angry and you feel guilty for feeling these things. Now as we scroll through our social media feeds at this time, God, I went on LinkedIn. What a bunch of weak motherfuckers on LinkedIn. God damn. Mob mentality, everyone just posting what they think they should be posting right now so they don't get called out. What happened to being an individual today? I don't know. That's a whole other podcast. It's going to take me a, a, a long time to unravel that one. But you scroll through social media, we're made to feel guilty. That we're not doing the right thing and we're not doing enough. You've seen other influencers that you maybe follow. You see your friends doing this. You see other world leaders doing this. You see businesses doing this. You see your friends doing this and this. And you feel, ah, I'm not enough. I must be doing something wrong. I feel so guilty for the life I'm living right now. I've made bad decisions. Have I made mistakes? How the hell did I get here? I need to ask yourself, I need you to ask yourself one, one simple question when it comes to guilt. If you've ever felt guilty, let's all close our eyes and let's, let's ask ourselves one thing, okay? Did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Ask yourself that. If you feel guilty, ask yourself, did I do something wrong? Think about it. And for a lot of us, the answer is no. You didn't do anything wrong. And yet guilt comes in waves. And that's a way to stop that wave. Let it hit a wall. Let it dissipate. Let it flatten out. You didn't do anything wrong. If you feel depressed, you didn't do anything wrong. If you feel anxious at this time, you didn't do anything wrong. If you feel happy at this time, there's no reason for you to feel guilty. If you feel joy, if you feel at peace, then let yourself feel that. Amongst all the chaos, you can still feel happy. You don't need to feel guilty because other people feel like shit. We need to ask ourselves the question again. This is why, you know, that TEDx talk I did, I can put the link in the description. It's called Why You Should Question Everything. Because questions are the most beautiful thing we can do for ourselves. To then ignite that cognitive model of saying, okay, did I do something wrong? Answer is no. Boom the guilt dissipates. These are the cognitive shortcuts we can do with questions. But we're made to feel guilty. We're made to doubt ourselves. So we need to realize that guilt and resentment and jealousy 
these emotions can be put to use, of course, right? I love the full spectrum of emotion. But if you think that if you feel happy and you look at the world, it's like people are, people are suffering, people are, people are dying, people are protesting this and this and this. Therefore, I should lower my frequency and get down to the level in order to empathize, in order to be part of something. That's complete bullshit in my view. What good is it for you to be at work, working from home, and put yourself down to that level and that frequency? You can make just as much of an impact. You can make just as much change by spreading positivity, by feeling happy, by having smart discussions around your neighborhood, by treating people with empathy and respect. You don't need to lower your state of well-being in order to be part of this world today. So there's guilt on both sides, and that's one of the worst things you can do for your mental health is to feel guilty based on what's going around in the world and what's going around with others and what's going on with where you are and where you think you should be. It's a lie. It's a complete lie we're being told by everyone on social media who's spreading all of this stuff that we're not enough and that we should be more. Even motivational speakers do that kind of stuff. I want to tell you that it's okay where you're at right now. You don't have to feel guilty if you didn't do anything wrong. And if the answer is yes to that, okay, I did do something wrong. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's have an action plan and let's start, let's start digging some stuff up. Let's start correcting the wrongs. Let's change course a little bit. That's okay too. But it's all about taking action with asking that question. Maybe there's no action to be taken or maybe there is action. Even inaction is action, I guess, right? It's all about taking action control of this situation that you're in, that we're all in. But guilt, my friends, I want you to really think about that. If you feel depressed, if you feel anxious, you did nothing wrong. If you feel happy, joyful, content, maybe you did nothing wrong. Ask yourself that question. And uh, I'll give you a condo tour next time you're around. But just for a little sneak preview, if you checked out my Instagram, you saw that photo, but oh my goodness. Oh, the water, 37 floors up. I love it, I love it. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you soon. Stay strong, whoa. Keep being you, express yourself, and don't feel fucking guilty for being a human being and living a great life.